Hey there, welcome back. It's Cindy again. We are still working in Module 11 where we're talking about envelopes and labels. We've already discussed how to create envelopes, so now we're in Section 2 and I want to show you how to work with labels. You have the ability to print labels in Word and there are different size labels that you can purchase. And when we're talking about labels, we're talking about they look like a sheet of paper and you peel off the individual labels. Typically what you're going to find is there's a number that corresponds with the actual size of the labels and that number is usually printed on the box or sometimes they print them on the actual sheet itself. You're actually going to go to the mailings tab just like we did with the envelopes but go over to the labels option this time. Again what's going to happen is you're going to pop in the address here. I'm going to say this is Tim Scott. P.O. Box 123 in Columbus, Ohio 77458. You have the option to print a full page of the same label or a single label. If you were going to print a single label, then you would have to tell it which row and which column to print in because sometimes you might have used a couple of the labels already. If you're printing a full page, this would be good for something like if you want to have a couple of sheets of pre-printed labels that have your company name and address already on them in your drawer, it's great for something like that. You also have the ability to change the size of the labels. So where it says options down here at the bottom, most labels are going to be on this list here. Now the standard labels that most people are familiar with are the Avery US letter. So I'd probably start with that vendor. And you can see when you go down the list, there's the numbers I mentioned that correspond with the size of the labels. Also it tells you what type of label it is over here. See how if you click on one it tells you the height and width and so forth over on this side. The generic labels most people use are the 5160 series or the 8160 series. The 8160 is the one that has three across and I believe 10 down, but you'd have to check that for yourself. So I'm just going to find the 8160s because I'm familiar with those. And then you're going to see that once I find these, that there's going to be three columns and 10 rows. There it is right there. These are called Easy Peel Address Labels. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and it tells you right there which size I've chosen. I could go ahead and print these if I wanted, but I can also add this to a new document. Let me show you what this looks like. There you go. So now you can see I've got each label and I have the same name and address in each one and that's because I chose the option for the full page. So the logical question here is, how do I get different names and addresses into the different labels? Well, that's where a mail merge comes in. So we are going to go ahead and wrap up this module. There's not really a practice for this or anything. Hi, I'm Molly. Thanks for watching. If you need additional Microsoft Office 2016 training, check out our multi-hour training courses for Office 2016. Click the Learn More button on the left, and I'll see you next week with additional videos.